Hello guys, so today we're going to make load curves, so the box type graph that is usually used in electrical uh, in graphing electrical loads, uh, something like that. So I'm currently using a designer app designer in MATLAB, but this code can run in MATLAB alone or the M files. Yeah, so let's start. So we have this um, as an example this load which have this uh, we have this array with elements 200 which are the loads yeah so time is basically the how many loads we have so that's the length of our time you can change that and uh, you can do whatever you want to arrive with this data so for example and remember you don't have to write this in the matlab in a matlab ano uh, MATLAB coding alone. This is just required here because I'm using the designer app designer. So you can just totally remove that. So for example, let's let me try to run this. So we have this mountain like shapes and we want the building like so the one that is box box like that. So let's go. So the first step we want to do is create a, a new time. That is for example we have time that is 1 to 5 we want it to become 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 so to do that we're going to use sort and basically we add two times together so we create an array with the uh, elements that has time added with another time so it's doubled and we sort it out so that it becomes ascending since time is always ascending then it will become 1 1 2 2 3 3 and so on next we want to make a load for the graph so it has the twice the length of twice the length of this load array so so one is to length load times two so something like that next is we want to make uh, to put the elements into this load graph so for that we are going to use a for loop so for i is equals starting from 1 to whatever is the know of the load okay I think I made the wrong spelling here okay then remember to put semicolons after your code okay next is we are going to input so for the second uh, for the first element we want it to look like this so i times 2 minus 1 so this indicates the first element so for example 1 you multiply it by 2 it becomes 2 then minus 1 so it go back to 1 so we're going to save there whatever in the load i so the first element will be saved to the first element okay and for the second element we're going to label as i times 2 times 2 only we're going to save the i plus 1 so what this does is for the for example in time we have 1 1 right so in 1 we're going to save 200 and the next we're going to save 200 again for 2 2 at the first element we're going to first the first two we're going to save 200 and the second two we're going to save 900 so that will create the box type graph that we want so from here we notice that we have the i plus one so if it happens that we reach the length of the load we're going to exceed the bounds of the array so for that we need to use if so if i is uh, less than length of load we can no not graph load we're going to do oh that's all right we're going to do this so i'm just going to cut this and put it there okay then we put else else we need to do something else okay so for the else we just want to remove this um, plus one and that will fix the error now for the graph we want to change this into the uh, right uh, into time graph and load graph so time underscore 
graph then load underscore graph okay so I forget again to put some columns here so this will create error so remember to always put these things there where they should go so look at the loads are they all look at their what you call the uppercase or lowercase because that will create error if that's the same so let's go let's try this out and click the button okay so I made an error again okay as you can see here I put uh, uppercase load instead of the lowercase so that created an error so remember to always check your case so now we created a load curve so I hope you learned something and that's all thank you